Hello, hello, Liana here. We're talking about how do you create a threesome in the organic way, okay? Just, we're gonna get into details. I have a bunch of steps, a bunch of things that you can do that you can try to start to open up the possibility of a threesome happening organically, okay? Or semi-organically, semi but not this the online method. I'll be talking about the online method the next video. So let's just focus on the organic method. Um, if you are here for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you part of the tribe and hit the alarm button to get notifications. We are talking about all about threesomes, the month of March, various different topics. I have the description below um, of the different topics coming up. And I really encourage you to comment, to share stories, to ask questions. A lot of people are interested in threesomes, having threesomes, but not a lot of people actually do it from what I, uh, what the studies show. So I'd love to know if you've been having threesomes or if you're just curious in having threesomes and any questions that you have or anything you'd like to share, of course. So um, let's get into it. Um, now, you are with your partner. I'm talking about here couples. You're, you're in a long-term relationship. Yes, we've decided. You've just started to talk about having a threesome. It's really interested you or you yourself feel like you want to and you're starting to talk to your partner and they're getting on board. So you listen to the rest of my videos, the first uh, three, I think three or four that I've done already. Um, and so now we're here. Let's get started, honey. Let's get started. So. The first thing that you want to do when you go into this organic method, and I always suggest just do it anyways, because most people, most people will go online because there's a lot of possibility there. And I'll talk about that the next video, but you want to open to the idea, like really energetically open to the idea, right? Now I'm a sex, sexual energy activator. So, um, it's all about, op you know, I really, I work with people opening up their energy because we get a lot of, a lot of time we get, it gets blocked by, through traumas, through childhood traumas, through other traumas that happen in our lives. Um, so we need to open up the channel, right? We need to open up the channel and it's simple enough to do just by saying, okay, honey, let's open up to the possibility that we can create a threesome organically we can meet somebody in an organic way, right? So let's just open to that possibility. And let's not, let's not have any fear around this. Let's just be really, let's be really, um, really, really uh, magnetic and really allow the attraction to come to us and not push away, like see it. You know, usually there are many possibilities in front of you all the time, but we don't see them because we're not open to the idea. We're not, we're not allowing that energy to flow that, yes, we are looking for a threesome. Um, we're looking for someone that really likes us, that we like, who we like as well. And, um, you know, talking about, we've been talking about threesomes over the last few uh, videos and talking about the kind of person that you'd like to meet, the kind of scenario that you'd like to create, these kinds of things. So open to those, just really open up to them. Let's go, honey, let's go. So that's the first thing that I would suggest you do. Now, um, it really helps if you, and I found that it was really helpful for me just starting out, changing our names. Uh, the reason for this is that you, you, you can create a new persona with a new name, right? Now, this is not for everybody, but sometimes, you know, we get stuck in the name that we've had as that kind of persona, that kind of person. Uh, you, if you're a father, you're a mother, you're a wife, you're a husband, you're, you're a certain age, you're stuck in that kind of persona. If you choose a different name and you can use that going forward um, in your adventures, then you can start to create sort of a different part of you. It's not separate from you. It's it's the different part of you that is more sexual. So my name is, you know, my name's Liana, but I chose the word, the name Gabrielle. And Gabrielle was a very different creature. <laughs> a big part of me, but Gabrielle, much more sexual, much more open, much more relaxed sexually, much more um, experimental, much more adventurous, you know, lots of different aspects of Gabrielle that were part of me that I needed to sort of just put into a different place so that I could 
just have that persona. So it's a suggestion. Um, it might work for you and it, you know, try it out. See if that's for something for you. Yeah. The next thing I would say is, um, go out together. Like you're going to find somebody, but you know, you're not like with no uh, expectation, just like, let's go out, but finding somebody by talking about different people that are moving around you that you see talking about if that might be somebody that you might be interested in and start to sort of see who your partner is kind of attracted to who uh, turns maybe both of you on you know I found when my partner and I first started threesomes and um, we had a discussion of what we liked and what we wanted but uh, not until we really started opening to meeting a lot of different people and talking to and, and, and talking about people that were moving around is that I realized that his taste was very different than mine and um, it was fine it was just I had this whole idea that yeah this is the taste that I have this is the kind of person that I would like to see come into the into our threesome but he was thinking of some very different physical look than I was um, but it, you know, so it, it helped me sort of look for the type for him and it helped him look for the type for me, right? And then, you know, trying to find one that, a person that would fit well for both of us. So this is just kind of playing around, go out to a cafe, go for drinks, go to, go to an event and just like, oh yeah, that person is really hot. I really like the look of that person. What do you think? Yeah, it's all right. She's okay. He's okay. Yeah, maybe. And if you have the guts, go and talk to them. You know, you don't have to say anything about having an intimate connection with them, but you can talk to them. And um, if, um, the con you know, you're open here, you're open, you're going to talk to that person. Oh, hi, how are you? My name is blah, 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 blah. Really nice to see you. We really love, like, I love what you're wearing. It looks, you know, go in with compliments. If the dynamic is there, the energy is there, you can carry it through to whatever level you want. I mean you will have to take the risk at some point and say something or ask something. Um, and I find that what the, the question that I find really easy and smooth is, uh, are you intimate? Are you interested in a more intimate connection? Having a more intimate connection? Are you interested in having a more intimate connection? You can go, you can go right direct. Uh, you know, we're looking, we'd love to have you as a threesome. <laughs> it may be, you may be able to go that direct. It just depends on the person. But um, make it a non-expectation kind of going out and it's just kind of playing around, looking at people, talking about people, seeing who might be fun to have in your threesome and see where that goes to. This is part of opening up energetically. Um, another way that you can go about practicing, playing around, seeing what it's like is you can find a masseuse that's willing to go a little bit farther, right? Uh, depending how far you want to go, maybe they will, the masseuse doesn't mind massaging your genitals, allowing you to watch your partner's genitals being massaged, or, you know, there's masseuses that will go in all sorts of directions and will provide services that you can, you can experiment with, right? So, um, that's an option. That's an option if you would like to just see what it's like to have a third person there, um, that you have a little bit more control with because you're paying the person and, uh, you know, you can stop when you want, you can, you can try different things, you can talk to them a little bit more in detail because you'll, you'll you know, you know that they are, they're professional. Um, and, uh, a couple other things. One is to find events that you can go to that are more open, um, that are potentially more open to some connection sexually. Now, listen, first of all, most people are interested in sex, you know, most people. So really almost any event that you go to, there's potential. I've met people in grocery stores, art galleries, um, of course, more sexually orientated events, electronic music events, festivals. There are actual sexual events that take place and you don't have to, you don't have to play with anyone. You don't have to do anything. You can just go and observe and, and see how you feel and talk to people and ask them what their experiences were like. In the organic method, you want to really start talking about sex. You want to 
allow it energetically to flow through your being and you want to start talking about it. You want to start talking about it with your partners and with other people. And so find places or find people, uh, connect with people that are, are, are willing to listen to some sexual conversation. Uh, again, this is the kind of the risk that you might have to take as well because you're, you're going to have to bring it up, right? But if you're open and you really want to go in this direction, you're, you're going to be able to do it. You're going to be able to do it. <laughs> so these are a bunch of things. Let me see. What else did I want to tell you about? Um, oh, the last thing I think that, that works really well is to do your own role playing together. So uh, you can both be in the room together and one of you leaves the room while the other one stays and comes back in as a different person. Okay, so play a role of some sort and your partner plays off of you and you have an interaction and then you leave the room again and come back as another kind of person, a different personality. So just playing around with being with different kind of personalities, different ways people would approach things, um, you know, allow that again, again, the energy to build on, on all levels, right? I'm giving you uh, different kinds of um, ways to experiment that can take you could expand you on all your levels, right? This is the whole point. Organically, you just want to open up, open up, open up. We're available. We want to do this. We're really into this. We really want to meet someone that would be totally into this as well. So here we are and, you know, being very open about it and talking about it. And yeah, yeah. So if you have any questions about this, please leave the questions below. If you have any comments about some amazing event that you had, leave the, leave the comment below. Love to hear from you. And um, also, if you'd like to hear a more in-depth story about my own personal adventures uh, around sexual exploration, then join my Patreon. Uh, that's where I talk about sexual exploration, personal adventure, storytelling. And the link is in my description. Join that and I will see you there. Otherwise, I will see you again at, the, um, at our next meeting next on Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Mwah. Much love making.